If you be in the pool, will the water really change colour? Does the TV only work when it's raining? Can a stork really carry a baby? Does the internet turn off at seven every night? Can a goldfish run away? Is Santa always watching? It's a common misconception that... We're gonna rule the world, don't you know, don't you know? We are gonna rule the world, don't you know, don't you know? We're gonna put it together. Gonna put it together. We need to talk. We gonna rule the world, don't you know? Don't you know? So, a couple of weeks ago, my uh, my son came to me, and uh, I have a son. He's about five years old. He comes to me and he says, "Dad, the TV is broken." Now, for those am amongst you who have children, uh, my son is about five years old. When he travels through the living room, it's or he's in zero mode and he sits down, or he goes 200 miles an hour and he looks like this. Okay. So when he comes to me and he says the TV is broken, I go over, I believe him, and he goes over to the television, he puts his hand on the television, and he tries to swipe to the next program. He even goes a step further. He says, okay, Dad, I even tried to talk to the television and ask, Hey Google, can, can you can you even veranderen? And he was he was devastated. He was really uh, let's say devastated about the fact that he couldn't control that device, nor with his hand, nor with his voice. So the world in which we're evolving today is that more and more devices around us will be powered by new ways of interfaces, and voice is one of them. This is a picture I took in the Media Markt about two weeks ago. And this is actually the new Sony Bravia television. The new Sony Bravia television is actually voice-powered. and You can switch the channels and you can actually search on your television by using your voice. Okay? Now, what's the biggest difficulty today? Because voice solutions is what at iReachem it's all about. We build voice bots. And the biggest difficulty, to be honest, is you guys. It's the user. Okay? As a user, we aren't yet we haven't yet adopted voice as being a channel of communication. Typically, when we go to companies, we get the same reactions. Yeah, voice bots, I get it, but it's, it's still a robot. Eh? It sounds like a robot, and, and you have a Dutch little accent, which I don't like, so my customers will react in, in a weird way on that, so I'm not going to do that. Or, or they react in the fact that, yeah, but I tried it. Uh, you know, Siri, last time I, I tried to use Siri, and she said, Dit kan ik nog niet, of hier kan ik helemaal nog niet bij helpen. So they have a very big difficulty in adopting voice as being a standard. And my personal favorite, when you go to uh, somewhat uh, the, 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 the extremities of the country, when you talk about dialects, uh, the typical Mahosa, uh, <laughs> where you go to, uh, let's say, typical, uh, uh, let's say, uh, communities, where you see that people say, yeah, but the bot won't be able to understand all those kind of, of dialects. So we're on the lookout for uh, people that want to innovate by using their voice and by using voice as the new way of communicating with devices. Thank you.